friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. We are fully engulfed in the fall season and this is the time of the year that you guys know that I'm going to indulge in coffee and teas and all of those things that make you feel warm and cozy inside. So today's video, I'm actually going to share with you how I styled my coffee bar this year. And you will see a lot of the elements that you have seen in my previous coffee bars, but I did add a couple of um, new items that I want to share with you. And I'm going to share with you a just really um, easy bread, um, like a scone that I picked up from Ross. We're going to try it out together, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe. So, God, with no further ado, let's get the decorator. Come on. So, we're in the kitchen, as you see, and this is where I normally have my coffee bar placed. I like it in this space because it's um, very close to the sink, and on the other side is actually my Keurig. I'm going to clean up my our area um, very thoroughly. I'm using the Mrs. Myers, I think it's apple cinnamon. Um, multi-purpose cleaner I love this stuff that's one way you know it's fall over here at Wani's house because I am going to have this in my arsenal as well as the dish soap so fall when I think of fall my favorite coffee of all time is pumpkin spice I love pumpkin spice everything and Later on in this video, we will be creating some pumpkin spice scones, but to go along with our coffee that we're placing here in the coffee bar. So my countertop is clean. It smells amazing. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put up my marble two-tier stands. I love these. You guys have seen them. Um, for many years now these are like one of my favorite um, tiered items that I have to decorate with I have the smaller one and the large one and not only are they great for a coffee bar they're definitely great uh, on a buffet it really elevates the look of a buffet whether you're using it on your table or if you actually have an island and you're setting up there these are amazing So once again, I am using these small apothecary jars. These are from Home Goods. And so one, I have my Stevia in. That is my sweetener of choice. Mr. B loves good old fashioned sugar. And then in this um, apothecary jar here, I am going to um, use the Junior's um, Coffee House Coffee. It is so good. I picked it up from the Dollar Tree and I also picked up one that was from Jim Bean that is amazing. It's a vanilla something, but it is so good. Now I don't have any more of that. So we are going to use the Junior's Coffee here. And of course I have some Keurig pods down in the drawers below. So you guys remember these two um, 
containers here, they're actually candle holders. And so I love them because of the gold, you know, I love using gold in my home. But the tops are actually the tops from Bath and Body Works candles and they fit the as lids on these perfectly. I have these um, maple and almonds biscotti. These are so good, especially like if you dunk them into your coffee, <laughs> they're delicious. So, um, and then I have cinnamon that's in the salt and pepper shaker, in the crystal shaker. Now, um, one thing that I wanted to have in this coffee foam bar were like these cups here that I love them because they're big and they're wide. These are from Pop Shelf. And so you see one says grateful and one is thankful. And Mr. B really likes this because you can get a lot of coffee in these. So I put these right here. These are particularly for him because my other coffee cups, I don't believe that he would use. So I have four of these and they are from Pop Shelf like I stated. And guys, Pop Shelf. They are amazing, and I believe each one of those um, mugs were four dollars, three or four dollars a piece, and I picked them up last year. Now these beauty right here are just absolutely gorgeous. These are from Ross. I had to have them. I think they are so dainty, so ladylike, and will be perfect for a spot of tea or a little bit of my favorite coffee. So I have four of these. These were all that they had at my particular Ross. I really would like to have two more and I will be on the lookout for them. Now this wooden tray that I'm adding is the perfect um, size for this area of our coffee bar. I wanted to add some type of natural element to this. I thought these were so nice. I picked these this up from Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago. And then on the tray, I want to use these jars here. Now I picked up these um, jars from Amazon and you get a set of four. I will link these down in the description box if you are interested and you can find them in my Amazon store. So you have the gold pumps here and then you also have the labels and on these labels they have every type of syrup imaginable that you may want to use for your coffee bar. So I'm just showing you all of the different types of um, labeled syrups and guys you get doubles so if your labels or your jar should get a little gunky you can clean it up and add a new label so for our, for our coffee bar we have french vanilla we have caramel and we have a mocha i believe so i found the labels I've cleaned my jars and then in here you will see that you have a funnel it's like a collapsible funnel and you can use everything that you need it the box comes with everything that you need to label your bottles refill your bottles as well as the beautiful um, pumps that go on top
Now, one thing that I really like about these labels, although they've been on here a little bit, a little while, they were really easy to take up and reposition. So, you know, a lot of times with labels, once they're on a surface, regardless if it's glass or not, it is hard for you to lift up the label without tearing them. These labels are great quality. I highly recommend this set. You will not be disappointed. So lastly, I added this gold acorn that is from Hobby Lobby here. I think I'm probably going to move it over a little bit, but I also have this milk frother that I absolutely love. I had to get it because it was black and it's the froth part in the stand is gold and it, is, it looks perfect and it goes beautifully with my kitchen. So now that my coffee bar is done, let's go ahead and start baking us some treats. So now that we have our coffee bar ready for us, what we need to do now is make something like to eat with our coffee. So you see I have biscottis over there and I love biscottis late at night. You know, sometimes I just need a little something, something sweet to like get me over the edge. And so... You know when you go to Ross and Home Goods, TJ Maxx, they always have like these little um, packaged types of breads. And so this is by Sticky Fingers. It was from Ross, and this is the pumpkin spice scones. So you could know your girl is not a what? She's not a baker. She's not Bob the Baker, Bobette the Baker. But I figured something like this I can definitely do. Um, I've been having like this bacon dessert bug um, the last couple of weeks. Um, I made um, a peach cobbler that was out of this world, guys. So I can make cobblers and things like that, but cookies and cakes is not my forte. But this is simply just like a, a drop type dough um, when you make it. So it's really easy. The only thing we need to do, we need to have our one package of our mix, two thirds cups of water, um, we're going to preheat the oven to 375, lightly grease the baking dish. I've already done that. And so we just add the water um, and the mix, mix it with a fork. It becomes like a sticky dough. And then we just drop them onto the baking sheet here. And um, we bake it for, and it should make 10 to 12 of the scones. And it's going to take about 14 to 16 minutes, okay? And then we can do a glaze over it. So this is what the little scones look like. So this is what we're going to have because I think this will be great um, with our coffees. And so we're going to go ahead and make this. And I've always wanted to try these, you know, and see how we like them. Mr. B, you know, during the summer times or any time, he loves a lemon cake. And he loves, um, he loves just cakes. And so since I am not the baker, I did say that I was going to venture out a little bit more and put my KitchenAid mixer into better use, um, especially during these upcoming fall and winter season okay so I'm just kind of getting all the lumps out of our mix here and then we simply add our two-third cups of water and I'm not gonna add it all right here I'm gonna add a little bit and then we're gonna mix because it's supposed to be like a sticky type bread doughy consistency and it's also stated on the package that if it was still dry you can add a little bit more um, to get it to that perfect consistency for the fall guys what are your some of your favorite 
fall desserts if you're a baker or even if you're not a baker if you go and pick up something what do what are some of the things that you typically like as far as desserts for the fall i'm interested to know and also question number two is like if you drink coffee because a lot of times we'll have coffee in the evenings and we might i might put in some make some cookies um, or something like that or we'll have a slice of cake with our coffee what are some of the things you like to have your coffees with all right so I think now it stated for us to use a fork so that's why I'm using this fork part of me wants to go and use like a um, I don't know it's not a potato um, masher but um, I think I might get a bit get a better result but it's mixing up pretty well so I guess when they said use a fork they knew why they told you to use the fork and so when we drop these onto our baking sheet over here we're gonna use it said to use a tablespoon so that is what we are going to do. And I just want to make sure this is mixed up well. So that, and there's nothing dry, no dry mix we're leaving behind. I want to go ahead over here and we're going to set our timer for 375. And so while that's heating up, just gonna make sure all of this is incorporated well and we're gonna get any of the mixture from the bottom of our um, bowl I don't believe that we will have to add any more water. I think this is how it should look. And yeah, I'm liking this already because it's quick. Now we're going to have to see if we're going to like the way it tastes. think we are about good so I'm gonna go over here and get my measuring spoon and then we'll just measure out the one tablespoon so this is our one tablespoon right here okay so what I'm gonna do is simply this and just drop it And we don't want it on top of each other. I think it needs room to spread.
three, six, nine, twelve. So I think we're gonna we can probably make these a little bit larger. Right, so now we've gotten every little drop out of here, out of this box bread. And so I think once our timer lets us know that the stove is at the proper temperature, we'll go ahead and place that into the oven. And, um, we're going to wait and see. So I do need to make a glaze. But I need to run to the store because I need some. Um, I might have some. I have powdered sugar. So we're going to cook these. We're going to make up the glaze when they're done and they're cool. And we're going to drizzle it over here. And then we're going to put them in our dish. Okay, so... Here are the scones. We ate some. <laughs> so this is what's left. And so what is on it is a little bit of powdered sugar and some milk and some vanilla. It was supposed to make a glaze. I am, I'm assuming that um, I had too much milk and not enough powdered sugar. And I kept adding sugar. But you guys know I'm not a baker. Um, it may not look pretty. But they taste real, real good. So, yeah. So, I shared with you the box that it came in. This would definitely be great, Mr. B. With, um, we've been eating them um, out the oven with nothing on them. So, I was like, let me go ahead and put this glaze on here before there's nothing for me to show. So, I'm going to put them into, um, on a, in a uh, cake plate and for display and... For us to eat on our way out every morning. All right, guys. As our scones began to cool, you you able to see the glaze on there a little bit better. Guys, these are so good. They're so good. I'm, I'm pretty proud of them if I have to say so myself. Because you know I'm not a baker. But we're going to change all of that starting this fall. For today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hi I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house 
If you like today's video, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. You can also find me over on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's house. Hit the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. All right, guys. So I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. Hopefully when you come, I'll bake everything properly. But it's going to be good. Bye-bye. <laughs>